Hello everyone, I'm Jennifer and welcome back to the Forest Parlor. It's been a little while, but I have an unboxing video for you. This is from one of my favorite shops, Magical Folk, and they have a subscription box for September that I cannot wait to dive into. It is called Folklore and Fairy Tales. And I just know this is going to be amazing because when I opened my mailbox and it was waiting there for me, it smelled like the portal to an enchanted forest. I kid you not, evergreen, pine, woodland scents. I just absolutely love it. I can't wait to see what's in here. So thank you so much for joining me. Let's open this box. <laughs> Okay, so again, this is Magical Folks Folklore and Fairy Tales box for September. And look at this. Just, I love the art. I just want to live in this world. <sighs> okay, let's open this. This kind of has a rundown of the contents. I don't want to spoil anything, so we'll go through this. Uh, one at a time as we explore the box. What a wonderful paper. It's so thick. This is so lush. Oh, what do we want to look at first? This is Shadow and Light. Tea Light Candles and Harvest Wax Melts. Light and Shadow Tea Light. Oh, if only our shadows were always in perfect harmony with our inner light. The autumn equinox is a reminder that change is the only true constant. Is yes. At this time, the perfect balance that is struck between light and dark is possible because of the changing seasons and shifting nature of our cosmos. So the light tea lights are sugar plums and innocence. The shadow tea lights are old grimoires and grandma hugs. <laughs> Harvest tea lights, autumn leaves, and apple cider. I can't wait to light these. So beautiful. Maybon blessings with magic and love for magical folk. Oak salt, dead sea salt, sea salt, and white oak. Oh my goodness. Ritual and casting salt. Wealth, healing, harmony, ancestral wisdom. Salt is used for cleansing tools, altars, and our homes, ridding and protecting them of stagnant or negative energy. Casting a circle wards malevolent, unserving energy and sanctifies the spells cast within. The inclusion of white oak powder will add to the protective shield and energize the magic within the circles you cast. Revitalizing, strengthening, and grounding oak salt attracts the health, wealth, healing, and harmony you seek. Use it as a salt cleanse by combining with alcohol and igniting in the cauldron. I love that idea. To purify your aura, amplify your wisdom, and intensify your magic. This is amazing. Let's see. Maybon Floor Sweep and Magical Ritual has vervain, thyme, oak straw, zebra stone, and green adventurine. Sweep clockwise from the front or back of your home. Intentions, balance, prosperity, love, and harmony. A floor sweep house cleaning is perfect. Perfect for this time of year. Wonderful, wonderful. <laughs> oh. Magical Folk Apothecary Release Natural Ritual Soap Juniper Sage. Oh, this must be one of the things I could smell from my mailbox. The Juniper and Sage Release Soap purifies body, mind, heart, 
and soul, imparting a protective resonance to carry with you. This offering invokes the abundance of the second harvest while expanding your vision and openness to spiritual communication. During Maybon, the Juniper Sage Cold Press Soap goes beyond skin deep. Release soap permeates the aura, washing stagnation down the drain, raining down prosperity, fostering release, and allowing you to surrender to the rhythms of the season. Oh. Uh, a Maybon candle. All right, apple and sage, tiger's eye, lapis lazuli, and green adventurin. Hand poured coconut and soy wax candle. Oh my goodness, look inside. <laughs> There's an acorn imprint and oh, they weren't kidding about all the stones. Oh, it smells good. You can really smell the apple. This is a magical gift. Oh my goodness. Maybon Dressed Candle. This candle is handcrafted from coconut and soy, scented with premium apple sage fragrance, invoking thoughts of generosity, abundance, and gratitude. It is Reiki charged and made with soulful intention. <sighs> what to next? Oh my goodness. Witch's bells. This rose, this dried rose. Oh my goodness. This is so beautiful and witchy. <laughs> Let's see what the write up says. Adorn your door handle with these handcrafted witches' bells. Their gentle tingle will ward negativity and benevolence while uplifting the hearts and spirits of all kind-hearted souls who enter, both living and departed. This mini wreath is a perfect Maybon gift, handmade with intentionality and love, infused with seasonal blessings. I've got to say, that candle is amazing, but I think this is my favorite so far. Okay. Abundance Bath Tea. It contains corn silk and red rose. Directions. Simmer in a large pot of water for 10 minutes. Strain. Add to a full bath or small foot bath. Intentions, abundance, and manifesting. Bathing and showering with rose and corn silk honors, awakens, and pampers your inner goddess like the divine being she is. Oh, what is this? Prosperity. Yes, green adventuring. Lemongrass and poppy. Intention. Perfume oil. Green Adventuring is great for the heart chakra, um, and it also helps you welcome abundance into your life by realizing you are worthy. Oh, I can smell the lemongrass. This is lovely. Everything is so lovely. If I keep saying lovely, it's because it is. <laughs> oh. Maybon Blessings, Wild Abundance, Sunflowers and Sandalwood, Intention Bath and Body Oil. Oh, it's gorgeous. Look at that gold. For Abundance, Creativity and Manifestation. Ah, oh, so many gifts, so many gifts. Well, this is beautiful. Oh, wow. Let's see. Oh, Nightingale Flying Balm. 
Flying bombs have been used for centuries by witches to transport mind and spirit beyond the limits of the physical realm. Contains clary sage, frankincense, mugwort, sandalwood, valerian root, wormwood, and dried bluebell flowers. Oh, that's so funny. I was thinking about bluebell flowers last night and how amazing and beautiful they are. It cleanses and pacifies, dissolving the boundary of the veil and transforms your conscious experience from the inside out, protecting against all that may hinder your metamorphosis. Just, I, I just cannot believe this box. It, it is so magical. And there's more. Elderberry tincture elderberry, cinnamon, and clove tincture, herbal supplement for wisdom and wealth. Oh. <laughs> so yummy. Made from elderberry, clove, cinnamon, a few drops under the tongue of this tincture can fortify your body, mind, and spirit in preparation for the shadow season from autumn's first chill until the sun's return. So that was Magical Folks box for Maybon for September. I do believe the box is sold out and can you blame it? This has been so amazing. I love this time of year so much and I love ritual and components and all these things and I feel like Magical Folk did that prep work for me and now I can just go forward and do rituals and enjoy the season. And that is an amazing gift in itself, let alone all these individual treasures. I don't know if I can pick a favorite. Maybe the witch's bells, but this is all so amazing. From the candles to the, gosh, the wild abundance bath oil, just so amazing elderberry tincture prosperity perfume i'm like ah magical overload so fantastic so enchanting and i didn't even mention this yet there are spells and rituals included in the box as well to help you facilitate any ideas or actions that you want to do this season <sighs> just so amazing Thank you so much to Candace at Magical Folk for curating this amazingly special box. If you are interested in checking out a Magical Folk subscription box, go ahead and visit them at MagicalFolkShop.com. You will not regret it. So that is it for now from me. Thank you so much for spending a moment with me in the forest parlor. Leave a comment. What do you think of this box? And also, if you'd like to share some of your Maybon rituals, I would love to read about them. And while you're on the YouTube page, go ahead and like and subscribe and even share this video because those little actions really help me out in a big way. Take care and visit me again in the forest parlor. Thank you.